Hey what's happening you're watching the Geordie Groundhopper welcome back to another ground hopping video on this channel and tonight sees me travel to Groundsall Park the home of Heaton Stanton of the ninth tier as they face sixth tier side Blythe Spartans in the Northumberland Senior Cup semi-final with the winners taking on Morbeth Town at St James's Park the home of Newcastle United Football Club there is a lot at stake for both clubs tonight. So both will be looking for the win. Looking at Heaton Stanton, and well, they've done really well uh, to get to the semi-finals of this competition. Uh, they were only promoted this season from the 10th tier of English football into the 9th tier. And they've settled in rather well. And with that confidence, they have done well in the Northumberland Senior Cup. And they will want to go one better tonight and beat the current holders, Blythe Spartans, in their own backyard. I really hope that the Heaton Stanton fans get behind uh, the club tonight. It's a really big occasion for the club, and what could potentially happen if they, you know, get to St James's Park for the final. I really hope uh, that they do it. Uh, that's nothing against Blythe. Uh, I do like visiting Blythe, you know, as a, a football club. I think they've got a really good uh, fan base. And talking of Blythe, you know, they're not having, you know, the best of seasons in the National League North, where they're always struggling near the bottom end. However, they could put that distraction uh, aside and do well, you know, in this competition to get back to St James's Park and, you know, win the competition back to back. But they know that they'll be in for a game this evening. Anyways, we're going to get along to Groundsville Park, uh, sample the ground. Uh, take in the atmosphere if you're new around here uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and put your comments down below i'll see you there so here we are at the home of heaton stanton groundsville park you can see there in the distance uh, the floodlights are on that must mean it's an evening game there does expect to be a big crowd uh, tonight given that you know, Blythe have got a good following on heaton uh, are expected, you know, to try their best to get the uh, St James's Park for the final, and uh, it is surrounded uh, by a few uh, shops, and uh, there it is, Heaton Stanton Football Club. Okay, so we have made it to Groundsville Park, uh, the home of Heaton Stanton Football Club. Just showing you around the ground, it's building up nicely. Uh, half an hour before kickoff, and uh, we do have the Heaton Stanton side already out, as you can see. Yeah, that was uh, Heaton Stanton, and soon enough we will see Blythe Spartans. So, as promised, there is Blythe Spartans in the all green, uh, warming up, ready for tonight's game. So a little bit of homework on the ground, uh, this is Groundsville Park and at the far end uh, you have the changing rooms for both the home and away side, uh, that's in the green uh, cabin. Uh, further down as you can see a white sort of scram van, uh, it's called the Stan van, whatever it may be called anyway. Uh, you can get like your burgers, next to it there's like a pint van as well so you can get your pints. 
Uh, over on this side, you've got sort of your clubhouse where a lot of the supporters gather uh, for pre-match drinks, half time, and you know after the game. And uh, there's a little stand there with seats as well, so fans can actually sit and enjoy the game. And uh, over here, we have like a little dugout uh, for both home and away. And over there, you can see obviously the Heaton Stanton players are training, warming up, ready for the game. And then on the far end, you have uh, Blythe Spartans as well, who are also doing their pre match routine. Uh, they've got some nice flags as well as they always do uh, before a game, just to G uh, the players up. And uh, yeah, this is uh, Groundsville Park, home of Heaton Stanton Football Club. So, a uh, big night for a lot of these Heaton Stanton players. This is, you know, career defining moments in a way, you know, if they want to climb the ladder and climb the divisions. These are the sort of big games that, you know, they want to be in and, and perform to their very best and, you know, try and, you know, be the best they can be. And uh, there's no bigger game for these than against Blythe Spartans of, you know, the National League North. And that's where they strive to be, you know, the, the second tier of uh, non league football and potentially one day getting into the Football League. You know, they've really got to take this and grasp this opportunity tonight with both hands. Good luck to them anyway. So here come the teams, Heat and Stanton and Blythe Spartans. Heat and Stanton in the black and white and Blythe Spartans in the green and white. Has to be said, decent turnout tonight for the semi-final of the Senior Cup. So Blythe get us underway for the first half at Groundsville Park. Already goes out of play. I did. Great save by the Heaton Stanton keeper. I'm blind for the quarter. Oh, it's another great save. <laughs> Oh, 
All the best here. One nil of Blythe. The pressure has told, and Blythe have, have opened the scoreline. Keaton Stanton nil, Blythe one. Big chance wasted there for Heaton Stanton. Probably the best that they've done all game. Kiba was hesitant, but Heaton couldn't take that chance. Blythe still lead by a goal to nil. Another big chance there for Blythe. Not taken, unfortunately. Still 1 0 to Black Spartans in the late stages of the second half of the semi final of the Dunfermline Senior Cup. So that is a full time at Granville Park. It's finished getting started in 0. Black Spartans 1, and they will progress to the final at St James's Park to take on Morgoth Town. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
So that is full time from Groudsel Park in the semi-final of the Northumberland Senior Cup and it has ended Heaton Stanton in nil, Blythe Spartans won and I have to say that is a fair result. Blythe Spartans deserve to go to St James's Park to take on Morpeth Town in the final. You could tell uh, the difference between uh, the two sets of sides, obviously Blythe Spartans being in the sixth tier, uh, the National League North and he started and being in the ninth tier, uh, the Northern League. You know, the, the game itself, you know, it wasn't a classic, truth be told. There wasn't a lot of quality uh, in the game. Blythe, you know, dominated the first half. They had a lot of the possession, but unfortunately, you know, they were wasteful and they just weren't really troubling Heaton Stanton enough. Heaton Stanton, to their credit, you know, were defending really well and uh, were giving absolutely, you know, everything to the cause. Didn't really attack a lot in that first half. But, you know, you look at, uh, you know, Blythe and, and their side, you would expect them, you know, to start on the front foot. They are defending uh, the Northumberland Senior Cup. And, uh, yeah, it was a bit of a flat uh, first half. Half time, nil nil. There wasn't a lot to say. That's why you didn't uh, get, you know, a half time uh, review. Blythe really had to have shown a little bit more, you know, going into the second half. And they did, to be fair, they carried on where they left off in the first half. Uh, you know, they were going for it. Blythe were, you know, shown, you know, what they are about. You know, why they're, you know, three leagues higher than uh, Heaton Stanton. Heaton Stanton, you know, were defending quite deep. And uh, the, the chances were coming, you know, for Blythe. And in the end, they did uh, take one of those chances in the 69th minute through Main. And uh, he was put through and he slotted it past uh, the Heaton Stanton goalkeeper. And Blythe go one nil up. It's deserved uh, on the balance of play and the chances uh, created from uh, Blythe Spartans. You know, they had other chances to go, you know, potentially two, three nil up. You know, Heaton. They were trying their best to try and you know, force extra time. And they had a big chance, uh, as you would have seen in the clip, where the keeper for Blythe hesitated and uh, he blazed it over the crossbar. He's got to do better with that. He's got to try and drill that home. And if he does that, it's one more the crowd out for it. And you know anything's possible uh, between then and the end of the game. And you never know, they could have actually won it in 90 minutes, had that you know equaliser. Uh, found its way for Heaton Stanton and it didn't and uh, it just wasn't a B. Uh, in terms of the crowd today, absolutely fantastic from Heaton and Blythe Spartans and uh, according to Heaton Stanton's official Twitter page, uh, they have announced that it, the, the total attendance was 1,300 and something. Check that Twitter page uh, for the full figure. But that is a club record attendance and I have to say, Heaton Stanton they deserve that, the club. You know, it's going to be a good little payday for them. You know, the, the club, you know, they deserve that because of how far they've come, you know, in this tournament. You know, they got to the uh, semi-final and you never know, they were just that close, you know, from making it to the, the final. But all overall, Blythe, you know, they, they deserve uh, another final uh, at St James's Park. And... Uh, you know, they're going to be in for a tough game against uh, Morpeth Town because they beat Whitley Bay uh, 5 0 last night or a couple of days ago, depending on when you watch this, if it's the day after. And uh, it's going to be a really good uh, final. Hopefully, I've got the time to uh, vlog it uh, on this channel and uh, may the best team win. But I have to say, uh, Heaton Stanton, you know, they were a credit uh, to the East End of Newcastle. I think they were a credit to the, to the North East. And uh, I hope this. Uh, you know, builds on in terms of the players' confidence that they can, you know, rise up uh, the, the the Northern League and you know and get into that uh, potentially uh, eighth tier and, and go on from there because uh, they have got a real good structure there. Heaton Stanton, and you know, the fans always get uh, behind the side. There always seems to be uh, like a, a, a decent turnout uh, for the level that they're at. And uh, as I said uh, tonight, they actually haven't done themselves any. Uh, Harm whatsoever uh, with this result. If anything, you know they've they've taken a National League North side all the way, 
and you never know on another day uh, you know it could have been the day for heating Sonnet to celebrate but if you were sort of a betting person not that I am you would you know expect uh, Blythe to get through to the final and they've done that and uh, I said some games are going to be great games and some games aren't classics and this was one of them uh, it was a second option not a classic but you know you've got to find a way and that's what Blythe uh, have done tonight uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this uh, match day vlog it's been a long time uh, since I've done anything on this channel so I do apologize just busy lifestyle but I'm gonna try my best to be a bit more uh, frequent uh, on the channel but again I said if this sort of content is for you uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel uh, hit the like button as well share it with your friends and your family until then I'll see you all in the next one see you later